Hello, folks. How we doing, Brody? You feast. Um, I'm doing great. Um, I've had a really nice after work situation, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty happy. I'm excited to get back into our Battle Frontier journey. Um, this is probably what I'm looking at for our squad in terms of like order for the Frontier Brain. I might change it up a little bit. It could be tough. I won't have to worry about it this time. Um, maybe I'll do something like that. Just because we have some weird matchup stuff with the person that is upcoming. And I don't want to get into a position where uh, we get really screwed. Um, so with that, we're going to get back into the palace. Um, and I really don't want to get screwed here either with having some really tough luck um, in terms of our Pokemon not doing what we want them to do. Um, oh, hear your perfect chicken noise, of course. Um, all right, here we go. <clears throat> if you're wearing headphones, uh, this is about to be loud, just so you know. There we go. Perfect chicken noise. <laughs> Good. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is usually pretty satisfying, honestly. Happy Thursday to you. Um, I did not work out today, which was really great. Um, and I actually, usually when I pop in here, I like have just showered. Um, but I have not done that today. I'm going to shower afterwards. I'm, I'm still, I still got the, the day, the day on me, all over me. Um, hey, Cry, how's it going? Um, thanks for being here. All right, so now things are already taking a step up. We see a sand slash of oh, Stinky, that's right. Um, appears to be incapable, which we hate to see. Um, and again, yeah, we really don't want to see Thunderbolt there with a sand slash out. This surf should kill it, I would think, yes. Um, <laughs> good, I'm so glad. <laughs> Um, but, uh, there we go. Hey, there's your, there's your Ziggy, Brody. Hopefully we can, we can kill her. Um, but yeah, today was a pretty good day. It, it kinda, it kinda dragged on just a little bit when I was at work. Um, but it was fine for the most part. I don't want to complain too much. Um, we got Starmie here, not, in tr not trying to hit. There we go. So Starmie, it seems like, does a pretty decent job of using the right moves. Definitely used all the right moves that time. Um, even though it was not moving a couple of times like that. Oh, Sand Attack, you really hate to see that. Okay, we're actually going to swap into Arrow. Hope we can kill her. Hey, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm fair, you know? Just because we love we love Ziggy doesn't mean that uh, we can't be her foe in the Battle Frontier. Um, let's see. Let's see. Vigoroth. So again, I'm really having a hard time of how I want to like order my team. Um, but I guess I don't have to think too hard about it. Um, just because. I will be able to do some swaps, which could be good. Um, so if I get into a position where I really need to swap out, I can. Because, gosh, it's so interesting because I've been so... Oh, come on, I did not need Dragon Dance because now we might die. Um, there we go. I really... I get so ingrained in, like, the mindset of being in the battle arena where I literally can't switch. Um, <laughs> we forfeit the battle for Ziggy. Ziggy rules. I understand. Um, I feel like... I mean, Stevie's not that slow. It could be nice to have something like a quick claw or something on him. Um, but the shell bell's still good, too. I like the shell bell. 
that's definitely helped us, I think, like, once or twice at this point. Um, where we have, like, almost died, but then the shell bell was great. Um, let's see how first turn goes here. There we go. I think we defeated the previous Ziggy on a crit, so yeah, it's gonna hold on. I hate secret power because, one, that was a critical hit, and two, it can paralyze. I'm glad it didn't. Um... All right, come on. You gotta move. There we go. Love to see it. Perfect. Hit him on top. That's okay. Let's see a psychic here, please. Perfect. Oh, so sorry, Hit him on top. You are legitimately one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And there's that Surf. Yeah, so Harry is probably the most consistent of all of our Pokemon here in the Battle Palace. Um... Ooh, he looks like the old man who is uh, healing our Pokemon between battles. Togetic. Again, I've said this all the time. I prefer Togetic to Togekiss. I think Togekiss looks really weird. I know a lot of people really like it because it's so strong, but I think Togetic is much better looking, and I like that it's tiny. It's cute. It's adorable. Um, yeah, luckily that Magical Leaf doesn't hurt too terribly much on the non-grass type Togetic, but if it uses it again, that is going to hurt a lot more. Okay. We'll go into Stevie, because Arrow has that Earthquake that could not hit a Togetic, the flying type Togetic. Um, would love to have Starmie here. But Stevie can still do some good damage against a Graveler. We just have to not mess around. Um, that's super effective, which we love. Perfect. Perfecto. And then Roselia. Yeah, we're in good shape here. Both of our Pokemon resisted. We got Psychic still. Oops. Yeah, I know that we have built Stevie to be a physical attacker. Um... But I kind of like having that little curveball of Psychic there for him, especially because it's a stab move. Um, I have said like a bunch of times that we could maybe maybe pivot away from it if we needed to. Um, but I mean, we haven't needed to so far, and it's definitely come in handy. Um, you're going to lose right away. And our team does have two Psychic types, but... Um, Metagross kind of like mitigates the dark weakness and the bug weakness with the steel type. Steel Psychic's a very good type. Um, I actually would like to swap to Stevie here, I think, maybe. Uh, no, I'll stay in. There we go, maybe go to Freeze. So, um, if you were with us last time, we, oh, that's annoying. I would really like to see a surf here. Um, if you were with us last time, you know that we, good. We defeated the Battle Palace once already. Um, here, we're gonna swap to Arrow. Absol has really sky high attack, so it's good that we can get an Intimidate out on it. Um, and we don't wanna take those big physical moves or the dark moves against um, Starmie. There we go. Um, ooh, it wants to use Razor Wind. You don't see that very often. Absol is one of the only Pokemon in this game that learns it. Um, there it is. It's just not very good, because it's a two-turn attack that only does that much damage. I love to see it. I hate to see Dragon Dance, though, because we are already set up. Um, oh my gosh. I mean, I guess our Salamence can destroy anything else we're going to see at this point. It is a destroyer of worlds. Um, all right, let's see what we got now. All right. I mean, it's not my favorite matchup, but with plus three attack and speed, I'm I feel pretty great about staying in. There we go. Um, but yes, I was saying we were able to defeat the Battle Palace once last time. That's crazy that it, that it held on. Um, you got citrus berry um we were able to defeat the battle palace once last time sorry it's the third time i've said it so if we are lucky enough to get through this time 
We're on our sixth battle, so it's looking generally promising. Um, we should be able to get a, take a crack at the Frontier Brain today. Um, so Kecleon's going to be really interesting with its ability and the ability of this place. Um, I hate secret power. Gosh, I hate it. There it is. Um, excuse me. All right, so that that prevents status moves, I believe. So now Kecleon is the psychic type. So we're in a position where like secret power is going to do less damage because it's not a normal type anymore, as you're gonna see, um, like that. But if we use psychic, it would be not very effective, obviously. Good, love to see that critical hit. All right, Tangela, we might just let Harry take the L here. Um, depending on what happens. Yeah, Mega Drain will probably do the trick. That is fine. That is fine. Arrow is very good against grass types. Because we have Aerial Ace and Flamethrower. Toxic, we do hate to see. This uh, Tangle is a little bit of a menace. All right, that works. All right, Cedra. Um, Metagross is fine in reserve here. I'll just let Arrow do what he can do and then see what happens. Ah. The poison will finish us, however. I actually did not know that Cedra learned Aurora Beam, if I'm being honest. Because that's not like a TM move or anything. Maybe it's an egg move. All right. Ooh, began growling deeply. Goodness gracious. All right. So we hold on for that one. All right, so we are on our seventh battle here. Um, if we are lucky enough to make it to the next round of the Battle Palace, gonna have to be a lot more strategic. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Cactus. Uh, Cacturn is actually the perfect counter. No, I did not mean to do that. Oh. I mean, Starmie picked the right move. Oh, no. Okay, that shouldn't be too disastrous, hopefully. Um, Cacturn is the perfect counter to Starmie. It did not kill me, thankfully. Um, because Starmie as a water psychic type is a terrible matchup against the grass dark type cacturn. Um, oh, love to see that. That's really great. Okay, that'll work. I personally would have done Aerial Ace, uh, my dear friend Arrow, but what can you do? Murkrow. All right, that's fine. I think Murkrow is so underrated. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Murkrow is so underrated because um, design-wise it's so good, but they just never let it have a chance to shine, I feel. Um, but since it just used Parasong, if we swap out, um, that's going to make it so that we are not affected by Parish Song anymore. Um, your Pokemon has to stay in the battle for that to be a thing. So right now, Murkrow is the only one feeling the effects of that. Um, okay, but he's going to withdraw as well. One Brick Break would do the trick on this here, Sneasel. Meteor Mash should probably also do it. Um, bird with Top Hate, do you... Oh, with Top Hat, I see. <laughs> It pretty much is just a bird with a top hat. Murkrow is kind of, like, designed to be a little bit like a witch, you know? Um, it's kind of like a witch's hat. Um, but then when it evolves in Gen 4, it becomes kind of like a mob boss in a weird way. I don't really like Honchkrow that much. Um, it's alright, but... Alright, so we're paralyzed. It's double teaming. Let's... There we go. Perfect. 
All right, win number seven that time, guys. Norton. Oh wow, Hotchcrow is your goat in Heart Gold Soul Silver playthroughs. I mean, it is a good Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not. I'll, I would never say it's bad. And I don't like. I don't think the design is bad. I just really like Murkrow. There are some Pokemon that they have like added um, evolutions to that I'm just like. I don't know, man. I liked the original. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Alright, so let's have a little save here because I have anxiety. Uh, <laughs> Night Slash with the King's Rock? Let's go. No, I feel you. I feel you. That is sound strategy. Um, ooh. Ooh. Mmm. I feel like I never get this far in the music. Man, I am feeling this. Oh, that is sick. Okay. Sorry to keep you waiting. Um, okay, so we are going to start with our... We're going to lead Starmie. Because I think that's going to end up being the best play at the beginning of the Frontier Brains team. Yeah, it is a banger cry. Thank you. Um... All right. Yes, that is fine. That is fine, sir. Good sir. Um, and I just love this room. The vibes in this room are great. You just have like the Meryl and Pikachu. Curly is up there. Wingle. They're all just basking in the in the grass. Um, it is just so lovely. Um, so, at the end of this round, we should see the frontier brain of the battle palace battle one let's see if we can survive with our pokemon choosing the moves <laughs> i will go ahead and go for a swap here because i'm sensing that this raticate is going to have crunch perhaps super fang oh nice play mm. okay Perfect. That's great. Lovely. But uh, Zangoose, I will take that. We have our fighting move on this here, Metagross. And that's going to be a critical hit machine. There you go. I feel like as you go through the palace, maybe your Pokemon start doing a better job of choosing the right move. Um, it seems that way, anyway. Finally. Ooh, Matang. Let's just stay in. Because we have three Pokemon to beat this one, Matang. Wow, they are just the Scary Face squad over here. Really trying to use Scary Face in a manner that will not work. I think that's like the fourth or fifth one. There you go. That'll do it. Oh, Focus Sash. That will not do it. Focus Band, rather. Sorry. Um, wow. Matang holds on. Starting to get some better items on our opponents. You know, I feel like we've seen some pretty good ones. We've seen Resto Chesto already, so that's uh, always fun to deal with. There we go. Okay, because <laughs> there was a chance that uh, that didn't knock it out. Perfect. Joanna. All right, so battle one down. We have five more, hopefully, and then the seventh should be against the Frontier Brain. But let's see. I crush things with psychic power. Uh, but yes, very happy that tomorrow is Friday. Um, we had a short week this week. Like I said, I had Monday off. It was glorious. Um, I'm going to be sad that I don't have this Monday off, but that's okay. We're making it. We're dealing. We're dealing and we're healing in our own time, in our own way. Um, 
That surf actually did more than I wanted it to. That'll work. That will work. Venomoth is one of my favorite kind of underrated Pokemon. I think it's so cool, and I loved when Koga used it in the anime. Oh my gosh, I loved it. I did not think about Signal Beam, however, so Harry might die. Ooh, holds on. Holds on. Let's actually swap here. Make sure we're being smart. Because although Signal Beam is a beam, in Generation 3, it is a physical attack. And the only reason that did not do nothing was because it was a crit. And another Matang. Arrow's actually pretty good here. We got Flamethrower and Earthquake. As long as we can actually move. Wrong move, buddy. All right, let's not mess around. There we go. Okay, I was waiting for another focus band. Alright, two down. Let's do it. I always get so nervous on these frontier brain attempts. And we have just gotten so lucky, knock on wood, so far that we have not, one, lost before the frontier brain, or two, lost to the frontier brain. Again, knock on freaking wood. Um... Magneton here. Harry Jr. is obviously terrible. We hate to see it. Um, I just hope Arrow can do the right thing and use Earthquake. It's not great. Leftovers could save us here. Alright, Metal Sound pretty much guarantees that a Thunder will kill us, so we need Earthquake. Gosh. And sometimes stuff like that can happen. I mean, we're not dead yet. Good. Seeing a Brick Break here is great. Magneton has really low HP, but it hangs on. And it just really, really doesn't want to miss Thunder, does it? And now we really have to hit here. Okay, good. That Magneton was firing off body blows, man. All right, Meteor Mash, I like to see that. Get a little Shell Bell back. All right, all we gotta do is hit this thing and we should be able to take it out. That should work, perfect. Thank you for wasting a turn on Solar Beam, Bell Awesome, and for being really slow. Um, Having Starmie in reserve here is really good. Also, Brick Break is great. Whew, Metagross is saving the day right now after that uh, potential disaster with Salamence there. Oh, awesome. Oh, baby. All right, so that guarantees it holds on on another Brick Break. Gosh. All right, we do still have a full HP Harry, so let's see what's going on here. All right, don't mess around. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I had just said how we hadn't lost yet, and things got scary there for a second. Okay. Your hypnosis strategy went badly, especially because I don't think you used it even once. Um, I believe this is our fourth battle. <sighs> Will my cute charm attract you? I hope not. Guys, I'm starting to get nervous. I am starting to get nervous. Crawdaunt, I don't mind that. I don't know... I don't know if Crawdaunt has crunch in this game. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Um, Thunderbolt's great, obviously. And why I stayed in.
Because I'm pretty sure Crawdont just has, like, knockoff. Okay, that's great. Obviously. Okay. That'll do it. Perfect. Bennett. Um, I'm gonna swap here. Really don't want to catch, like, a big ghost type move. Moving into the screech also rocks. Um, there we go. That should do it. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Just don't use Brick Break. There we go. I feel like so far we've done a pretty good job of not using moves that aren't going to affect it. Um, that's been pretty alright for us so far. Um... And Kadabra, a Shadow Ball is going to really do the trick here. So we'll just stay in. Much better shape here than last battle. Ooh! Use Brick Break! Ah! Because Brick Break, you, I really want to show you guys the animation of Brick Break busting through a reflector, a light screen, but not this time. We got a critical hit. I guess that's really good. <laughs> But I wanted to show the animation, because I think it looks really cool when that happens in this game. And it doesn't happen very often, but that's part of the appeal of having Brick Break on your squad. Alright. Battle 5. Battle 5. Two more, and we'll get our shot at the Palace Maven. Harry is a great matchup here. Thunderbolt or Psychic would rock. That's my that's our best move. Oh man. I would love to be getting more one shots. I feel like we get a lot of that. <laughs> Where we just take him down to the low red. Alright, good job, Harry. You really dodge that submission as well. There's Ziggy again, Brody. Just keeps showing up. Um, I should swap out. Okay. Ah, this is a great opportunity to utilize Starmie's ability, um, Natural Cure. Because if I shift in a new Pokemon and shift out Starmie, if we look at Starmie's um, status, you will see that it is no longer paralyzed. Just like that. So that is the whole reason we wanted a natural cure star you and not an illuminate one. That was a whole big thing. <laughs> so there you have it. That's why. Okay. Let's see a brick break. And not a paralysis. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. There it is again. Just holding on. I guess that's why it's good we have a little bit of access to healing. Oh, Covet. Okay, what Covet can do, it can work a lot like Thief. Um, it's basically a normal type version of Thief, of thief um, where it will steal your item. Unfortunately, we cannot use Shadow Ball here against this Giraffe Rig. But Metagross is really going to wall it. So we're doing alright. We're doing just fine. Just fine. Just fine. It'll be just fine. Alright, so that does it for... That was from The Office, by the way. Um, that does it for this battle, I believe. Yes. So we have one more. And we're going to be able to take a crack at the uh, Frontier Brain. So let me continue to be very nervous and anxious about it. Because that'll help, right? Um, we got a cyclist. Ha! Yeah! <laughs> very excited fellow. Alright. Plusle. Not what we want for Starmie. Yeah, we'll go to Arrow. 
I guarantee I see Thunder Wave here, just because I'll hate it. Oh no, just Spark. But still paralyzed, still bad. <laughs> Excuse me. And that was one of my justifications for giving Arrow Earthquake was... Ooh, it traced Intimidate. That's actually really good for it. Um, ugh. Fine. Gosh dang it, man. Um, really got to be wary of those ice moves with Salamence. I mean, obviously Salamence is really good, but it dies to ice. Um, oh, what I, was gonna say, what I was saying. Earthquake is fine on Salamence switching into those... Uh, whatchamacallit, electric types because it does not have the full electric weakness because dragon nullifies that. Or not nullifies it, but helps it. Oh yeah, let's see more brick breaks here, buddy. Love it. Love it! Wish. Wish, what it does, I don't know if we've seen it in our playthrough so far, it basically just um, is a delayed healing move. So it uses Wish and then it will be healed, I think, like two or three turns later, if I'm not mistaken. All right, gang. We're going to get a chance. And now. By winning consistently, you have earned the privilege of challenging our master, the Palace Maven. I shall send for the Palace Maven. Are you ready? Whew. Yes, I am. Spencer is his name. He comes in with his Pokemon bodyguards. He is such a cool, like, old man character. My physical being is with Pokemon always. He's really of the earth, of nature, of Pokemon. My heart beats as one with Pokemon always. Young one of a trainer, do you believe in your Pokemon? Can you believe them through and through? If your bonds of trust are frail, you will never beat my brethren. The bond you share with your Pokemon, prove it to me. Let's go! Look at this guy! He's amazing! Ah, oh. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of the king in Atlantis the Lost Empire, if you're familiar with that Disney movie from the early 2000s. It's one of my faves. Um, okay. So he's gonna start with a crowbat. Um... I was nervous about this. I thought Harry would be the best. Harry has three super effective moves against this Crobat. But I was also worried that it might have like crunch or something. We'll see what happens. It is faster, which I hate. I hate that it is faster. Um, and I knew that there could be some Confuse Ray shenanigans here. Snapped out, okay. An early snap. I'll I'll see if I can tank a fly. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. <sighs> Harry is picking a real bad time to crap his pants. This is not good. Let's see. Can we live that? Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to swap. I have to swap. I can't lose Harry and accomplish nothing. Because Harry should still be able to outspeed the other two. Oh, that's horrible. Alright, that really works out because we... Toxic won't affect us. Fly isn't going to be great. Um... I'm thinking that perhaps Metagross could have been a better lead. Um, I just know that... And now we're missing from the double team. I just know that Metagross is going to be really useful later against other members of his squad. And we are just having just terrible luck with this Crobat. Alright, that'll do like two damage. <sighs> we... He double resists that, buddy. 
I'm gonna need to see some psychics or even shadow balls. Oh gosh. This might be a long one, gang. We'll see. Because this Crobat does not have much to hit us with. Um, we're just going to be in trouble of missing every time. Um, or not attacking. I cannot believe how terrible our luck was with Starman. I think we were unable to attack every single time that it was available to be hit. Um... And I can't speed through this music. This is a huge battle. It's just going to be so hard to hit now. Alright, snap out, buddy. Wow. Snap out. Let's see a big psychic. We just can't hit it now. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm going to try to speed a little bit. That's fine. If you're not going to use your power, do it while he's in the air. Oh, my lord almighty. We just keep missing. I think he's got five double teams up now, so he's going to be really hard to hit. That's a huge one. Oh, I wish that would have killed. But now we're kind of in an area where any move is going to kill it. We just have to hit it. Um, just have to hit it. Just have to hit it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we snapped out. Please just hit it. Gotta hit it. Okay. So we've taken down one of his, but we've got Stevie and Harry Jr. in the red. Let's see if we can pull this off, guys. All right, slacking. I think I'm going to stay in here. And I... Dude, I know. I'm just going to pray that we can outspeed with a brick break here. Um, or I'm going to do this. I'm going to swap into arrow because I'm going to hit slacking with an intimidate. Um, and we'll get rid of that annoying red, red sound. And hopefully, okay, that's fine, maybe. Okay, that's all right. I'll take that any day. Um, I really wanted to use Arrow against Slacking because Arrow's not going to be very good against his last Pokemon. And it even outspeeds Arrow. A Dragon Dance could maybe help us a lot here. Um, and Slacking's ability really kind of works well in tandem with Spencer's deal just because there's always a chance it could not attack anyway. Oh, that's great to see that miss. Oh my gosh, great Dragon Dance as well. Hopefully now we can outspeed it. Um, and it's guaranteed to not attack this turn as well. Um, so we could hopefully turn the tides here, gang. I didn't want to do it again. <laughs> I just wanted to hit it now. Now we want to see that Earthquake. Come on, Arrow. Nice. Okay. Hopefully this can kill. We are plus two now. It will definitely do more. Not quite. Dang it. Um, I think I'm going to risk it here. Um, 
Because being plus four, it's really going to hurt if we hurt ourselves in confusion. But I think staying in and keeping that speed advantage and attack advantage could be really advantageous. That sucks. <sighs> this this one's this one's nerve-wracking, gang. I'm gonna try it one more time. If we hit ourselves, we die. But I'm gonna try it. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> we are really looking to snap out of confusion here, gang. Very luckily, he was loafing around. We get one more shot. Come on. Come on, buddy. That's really bad luck. That's really, really bad luck. <sighs> Gotta hit something here, man. I'm hoping this does it. It should. Okay. All right. So we have Starmie in red health, and we have Metagross in red health. Do you believe, gang? He has one Pokemon left. It is Lapras. That is why I really didn't want to use Salamence later. Ugh. Those two confusion hits just destroyed us. Just destroyed us. So really what we want to see here is a hairy thunderbolt. Can we see it? Oh, protect. Okay. We got it, but we'll see if we can get it again. Hairy thunderbolt. All up to Stevie. Need to see Stevie out speed. Wow, Spencer. Your Pokemon are wimpy because you're wimpy as a trainer. That is just so mean and also juvenile. That doesn't even make any sense. You're really kicking me while I'm down here, old man. I would not get too comfortable because it took crazy luck for you to beat me. Crazy luck. And I will be back for you, man. I am coming to get you. And that is a promise. That was horrible. I am so, so mad. So mad. How that went down. <laughs> oh, I'm inconsolable. That was terrible. Oh my gosh. I sure would not like to record that. So now, you understand the total... Uh, the punishing nature of the Battle Frontier. Because now, to get back to that battle against Spencer, we have to start our streak all over again. Which means that we need to defeat the palace two times and get to the end of the third time. Once again. So, I am simply beside myself. I'm so angry. I can't even believe how angry I am. Um, so we are going to do just a round through the battle tower that hopefully isn't too challenging. And hopefully lift our spirits, because that was brutal. That was so brutal. Ah. <sighs>
For real. You're so right. You're so right, Cry. Ah, oh, oh, emote only chat. Yeah. Drop your drop your sad faces in the chat, gang. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can pick my moves again. That was jarring. I really messed that up for a second. And it has crunch. Come on, man. All right. I got to get used to actually battling myself again. Oh, wow. How did that miss? It must be holding a lax incense or something. That was insane. Um, ah, that is terrible on Metagross. That's going to have our attack, which we hate to see. Um, thank you, Brody. Thank you for your sad faces. That makes me feel seen. I'm just so sad. So sad. That was just so unlucky. Like, Star Starmie couldn't hit it. Couldn't hit it. Oh my gosh. And it could have easily killed it. Maybe in one psychic. I'm gonna be talking about that forever. Oh, that was horrible. Gosh, I feel sick. I feel sick. Oh yeah, there's the star. All right, opponent number two. So this is actually gonna be our third time through the battle tower. <laughs> Maybe I'll get over it. Maybe I won't. So for those of you that were counting episodes, um, probably gonna add a couple. <laughs> Because we are coming for blood. For the blood of that old man. I'm telling you right now. Spencer is going to get just... He's going to get a tombstone pile driver to the face. Gosh, I'm so mad. This is just one of those things... Oh, what did you give me? A choice ban. That's fine. Um... This is just one of those things where, like, I'm an adult man, right? Pretty rational person. And that made me so viciously angry. And at the end of the day, this is a children's video game. But the, uh, the hatred never really leaves you when it comes to losing a heartbreaker of a battle. Ugh, that was tough. I see some new people are joining us right now. If you missed that, I highly recommend that you watch the playback or the episode on YouTube because that was terrible. I want you to feel my pain. Really want you to feel my pain with me. I'll feel very seen. Um, and I had been saying, I had been saying that that is... Uh, that's what can happen at the Battle Palace. You can just get caught in a terrible loop of horrific luck. And that's exactly what happened. At least we got a beautiful one-shot sweep against that Battle Girl. That made me, that made my heart happy. Um, opponent number four here. And then we have Harry Jr., the coverage machine. It was also brutal that on the turn Harry used Thunderbolt, his Lapras was able to protect. That was the whole reason I saved Harry, um, was to use Thunderbolt on that Lapras. Because if that Thunderbolt hit and that Meteor Mash hit, we might be looking at another sil Silver symbol. But if even one of those moves hit uh, for Salamence, we'd probably be looking at a silver symbol. Woulda, shoulda, coulda's, gang. Woulda, shoulda, coulda's. We're at least mowing through these people right now. I believe uh, it's gonna be the fifth time through on the battle tower that we'll be able to see the frontier brain. And this'll just be the third time. As we know, Marsh Chomp and Swampert are one of our worst matchups. Um, 
because that almost really burned us against um, uh, Tucker. There you have it. Nice psychic to the face. Hopefully kills. Yes, it does. And Charmeleon. See you later, homie. All right. I have a growth of suc of suction cups. What an odd thing to say. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 I'm starting to come down a little bit. Um, I just can't believe how bad that was. Cannot believe how bad that was. Oh, Quilava. Quilava's one of the coolest Pokemon ever. Look at that guy, man. He's so awesome. To have, like, the flame mohawk and the flame tail is so sick. Again with the lax incense, guys. That's so annoying. Um, and now our accuracy is actually down. Um, that's fine. We're going to swap. Perfecto. And Combustion Earthquake here also rocks. Or it grounds. <laughs> Alright. Should have one more on this trip here through the Battle Tower. Ba -ba. Yes, I will go on. I will soldier on. Oh boy. But that's that's uh, that's how the cookie crumbles on the battle frontier. That exact reason is why we're not going for gold symbols. Because we would just be in a world of pain. World of pain. Um, I think this is the first fully evolved starter we've seen outside of Tucker's Swampert. Ah, Blaziken is so cool. Um, let's see. Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is actually um, a very tanky Pokemon. I think it's very specially tanky as well. So I want to go into Metagross so we can use this super effective Brick Break here. And we can tank that Shadow Ball a bit better. There we go. I also love Porygon 2. You know why? Generation 2. Any Generation 2 Pokemon is just, just fire. Uh, has the leftovers. Yeah, we're fine. We are fine. One more and we'll be ready to win our third playthrough of the Battle Tower. Excuse me. Ah, oh, Meganium! Talk about another fully evolved starter. Um, let's use Meteor Mash. I think this is neutral against the Meganium, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. All right. Love to see that. Oh, okay. I can show this to you now. So Meganium has used Light Screen. So watch what happens when we use Brick Break. Smash! We smash right through the Light Screen, and we still do damage. Oh, that is so lovely. I'm so glad I was able to show that off. That that uh, that lifted my mood a little bit. I do wish it would have gotten the kill, but that's okay. Meteor Mash should do the trick. There we go. Um, there we go. So that's going to be three times through the tower. And we're going to have to start our palace streak over again. <sighs> so horrible. So horrible. Genuinely, genu genuinely may never recover. No. All right. Well, folks. Oops, I did not mean to go back in there. Uh, that is about going to do it for me tonight. I still got some things I got to take care of tonight, but uh, thank you for joining me in that heartbreaking excursion. 
against the Palace Maven Spencer. Made me very, very, oh so very sad. But we will be back. We will, uh, we will have that old man's uh, head on a spike um, by the end of by the end of by the end of it all. And uh, <laughs> sorry for that uh, graphic description. We're just gonna beat it really bad. Um, also, I think the expression is head on a pike. So I didn't even say it right. I'm not bad. I'm not good at being mean. Anyway. Was a valiant effort. Thanks, Cry. <laughs> we got some really bad luck. Really bad luck. We should get better next time. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pop a save here because I have anxiety. And, uh, folks, I will see you next time, hopefully on Saturday. Hopefully I can actually do another Saturday stream. Uh, we're trending that way, so it should be good. And uh, with that, I appreciate you all. Have a great night. Have a good weekend. And... Peace out, kids.